Hello. Okay. Another vlog here, and we're discussing a different topic. We're going to be discussing the solution to a system of equations, a system of two equations. This method we have is the addition method. The addition method, or as it's called, the elimination method, are the same methods. Each name is synonymous. What we'll do is use addition between the two equations and hope we have one variable, either the x or the y variable, drop out by becoming 0 times x or 0 times y. It's called elimination because one of the variables will disappear if done properly leaving one variable and the constant, um, uh, the answer there. And we can divide through and find out our answers for the variable. How this happens is you need to first have, like the first example, we have 2x minus y equals 7, and then 3x plus y equals 18. They're both ready to do this method. The reason being, they are both in standard form. What this means is that the x variable and the y variables and the constant are all in columns. So ax plus by equals c is standard form. a and b are your coefficients for the x and y variables, and c is our constant term on the right side of the equal sign. It's constant because there's no variable there, so it's a constant value. As I'm looking at the x variable and the y variable in each equation, I need them to add to become 0x or 0y. That means we must have one of the coefficients, or two coefficients on the variable terms, either x or y's, be the same number but opposite signs. Watch as I show you right here. Oh, excuse me about that. Sloppy writing. One second. Okay, so I'm looking at my x variables. I'm looking at my y variables. Okay, which one's ready? If I have 2x plus 3y, it's 5x. I mean, 3x equals 5x. That's not going to help me. But we have negative y and positive y. It's a negative 1y and a positive 1y. If we add those together, we get 0y. And that means the y variable drops out. Then all we have left is the x variable and our constant on the right side of the equation. No, let's pause for a second. Did you see what happened? 
we have our y variables in both equations. One's a negative one, the other one's a positive one for our coefficients. So negative one y plus positive one y becomes zero y. This is our goal every time for one of the variables to drop out. So now we're left with 5x equals 25. Hmm. Now I want the coefficient to be 1 by my x, so we need to divide by 5. Right? So 5x divide by 5, and then 25 divided by 5. Now we're not done yet. We have the solution for x, and that's 5. Now we need to find the y value. We have the x value. We can replace it within either one of the equations, the first one or the second one. It doesn't matter. For me, eh, I'm going to use number 2, the second equation. So we're going to replace x with 5. All right. Now we'll see 3 times 5 plus y equals 18. We'll solve for y now. Okay, now we have both values, the x value and the y value. And that, that x equals 5 and y equals 3 will work in both equations. If we replaced x and y, the values in both equations, we would get two true statements, 7 equals 7 and 18 equals 18. And now we need to check these two answers. I believe I'm right the pair being 5 comma 3, but I'm not sure. I'm sorry about that. Three should be there. I was thinking ahead. Now this is a true statement now. It means x equals 5, y equals 3. Put in the first equation, it is true. Those are the solutions for that equation. 7 equals 7. Now the second equation, we'll replace them again. We should expect at the end 18 equals 18, if we're correct. We'll see what happens.
So the ordered pair, which is the answer, 5, comma, 3. Now I'm confident that this answer works in both equations simultaneously. So at this point, if we were to graph the two lines on a graph, it would cross at this point, 5, comma, 3. See you next vlog. Thanks for listening.